Uh, so today is Valentine's Day and uh, girls and boys, a lot of hearts and chocolates and a lot of presents. That's Valentine's Day. But I think uh, 20 years back, uh, there was no Valentine's Day, at least in India, as far as I remember. People have no idea of what's Valentine's Day. And even if it was there, it might have been a very, at a very small scale. But in India now today, Valentine's Day is a big function. It's a big feasting for corporates. <laughs> and it's a, people, people really earn a lot in these days. Now, what is a history of Valentine's Day? Uh, the, uh, the, the point is, um, if, if, uh, so if you go to Wikipedia, you just, you just browse, it's easy. Uh, in simple words, this Valentine's Day, there was a Saint Valentine in the Roman era. This is uh, 3rd, 4th century BC. And at that time, Saint Valentine, he, he was a very devoted Christian Catholic. And by the way, he was martyred. And he, uh, it is said that he used to give soldiers, Roman soldiers, a heart uh, which was cut out of parchment, skins of, uh, uh, of, of, of actually dead animals, like for example leather. So he used to give a heart and that heart signified that soldiers should remember that they should always love Christ. It is also said that he used to wear a ring of Cupid and that Romans, uh, they had this sign, the, uh, the, uh, the emblem of their kingdom was a Cupid. Uh, it is interesting, but, but that's what is the history of all these uh, barbaric empires. Uh, now these, uh, so he, he, he was also wearing a ring of a Cupid to show that actually we love transcendental Cupid, which is God and not mundane Cupid. Uh, uh, and there are other stories revolving around him, but the idea was that he 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 started this the system of uh, giving heart, and uh, and he also wrote a letter to one of the daughters of the jailer uh, where actually he was imprisoned, uh, and he wrote that your Valentines, and he said with love. So so as the time passed, uh, this whole. Uh, love of Christ devolved into love of people. First at moral level and then at, uh, according to Christianity, a sinful level that is lust. That love devolved, changed into lust between male and female. And how that happened was, uh, nothing happened after he did all these things. Uh, he was later, uh, so later Saint Valentine was, was actually patronized. He became a saint. And in, I think, 1700s, there was a British printing press and it published, a, uh, it actually, it published small cards with the heart on it. And uh, those cards, uh, there were some sentimental uh, quotations, there were some quotations, romantic quotations, which were printed and which was supposed to be distributed among youths because youths, they had no idea how to propose. So this card carried quotations to propose. <laughs> so, uh, so that there's no problem in proposing uh, and speaking nice words to your girlfriend and boyfriends. And they published this card and the name of these cards were mechanical Valentine cards. Valentine cards, that's what he did. And after that, things moved on and St. Valentine's Day became a romantic day. As today what we find. Uh, and then there was no stopping and even in India now it's becoming a romantic day but actually it's it's a work of a devil because in some countries uh, this to celebrate Valentine's Day is banned actually like for example Iran it's banned but still people follow it in Saudi Arabia, Pakistan you can't celebrate Valentine's Day because they think that it is anti-Islamic teachings uh, because this day is teaching a corporal, carnal, it's promoting carnal desires and Quran doesn't support. Uh, many Orthodox Christians, they don't believe in Valentine's Day, what 
what they what what it is being promoted today uh, because they are well aware this day is a holy day and not a romantic day and they celebrate uh, the appearance of saint valentine on this day so uh, people who understand what is his valentine say they don't do all this kind of stupid stuff uh, because it's not only wrong but it's offensive uh, as against saint valentine so uh, i think we should be sensible enough if you want to propose a girlfriend there's a this is a whole year you know 365 days why on this day why to make this day unholy if you want to celebrate this day uh, uh, you can go with your girlfriend to a church and praise saint valentine that's good actually rather than proposing her or proposing him you can propose god i want to love you that's this day supposed to be so let us keep the sanctity of this day saint valentine's day and the rest of the thing you can do any other day of the year but don't make it unholy and blasphemous and and put the image of saint valentine uh, and degrade it to such a low level hari krishna thank you